Welcome to the speaking portion of your Part 6 exam. My name is Sardor and I'll be your examiner for the parts of the test. What is your full name? My full name is Mirapur Golomf. Mm, what shall I call you? Just Mirapur. Thank you. Uh, in the first part of the exam, I will ask you some personal questions. Okay. Let's talk about art. Do you like art? Well, I'm not a big fan of art. I'm more practical guy, so focused more on um, technical stuff. So, but like I adore art, even though I'm not that good at it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> do you think art classes are necessary? Well, of course, if um, there are a lot of people, especially in our country, who are interested in art, in, um, in designs, in uh, picture and some stuff. So I think it's necessary for them to, um, to organize the classes to, uh, to develop their skills, of course. Mm -hmm. um, the next question is, how do you think art classes affect children's development? Well, from the perspectives of children, I think that uh, uh, when, when people are younger, they acquire skills faster. So I think it, it is uh, of some crucial importance to organize the events from the childhood so that they can catch the skills very faster and uh, acquire their skills uh, uh, in, in the future, not like in 30 years, but um, before like 20 years, so faster, to achieve faster results. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about animals. Do you like animals? Well, yeah, I like animals. I think um, animals make our lives um, more interesting. Um, I, I think um, I like more cats and dogs. Mm. Okay, what is your favorite animal? So, as I told, like, if I choose between cat and dog, I think the cat is um, more closer to me as um, I think in, in, in Uzbekistan, there are like, like uh, more cats than dogs and cats are, um, are not that difficult to look up, look after them. So that's why I think cats are closer to me. Do you think animals should be kept in zoos? Um, well, it depends. Uh, for uh, the main, the, the the main part is that the zoos should be safe for them. Because in we see a lot of news that in zoos um, animals die, and um, if the zoos are um, are safe and uh, and a good place to keep them, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to talk about celebrity. Okay. Who is your favorite celebrity? Uh, I don't have a specific, a particular celebrity that I can tell you, but I have a couple of them. I think um, uh, they are both from sports. I think uh, Cristiano and Habib, they are my uh, favorite celebrities. Mm. Uh, would you want to be a celebrity in the future? Well, considering my um, my character, I think I wouldn't be that uh, fond of becoming famous because um, I like privacy in my life, and I think I wouldn't accept in the future that my private conscious would be it would be distracted. So I think no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should protect famous people's privacy? Well, I think it is difficult. First of all, it's up to them. So it depends on uh, how they keep their private lives because most of the celebrities, they don't like, they have to show their lives because it's, it's the way they gain more followers and uh, earn more money. But I think if it, it is not, it distracts their private lives, I think, yeah, we should keep their lives uh, private. Mm -hmm. So, that is the end of the part one. Now, okay. I'm going to give you a topic for part two, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. 
Before you talk, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Here's some pen and paper for making notes. Thank you. Um, here is your topic. Please don't write anything on here. I'd like you to describe an interesting animal you have seen. Okay, the interesting animal I've seen in my life was back in the United States when I've been there. Uh, actually, I don't know what the name of the animal is because it was a strange animal uh, with the look of the body of a hedgehog and the the head of I don't know even the name of it. So it was like two animals in like mutation segment of that. So I was really interested in what was that and um, so. Uh, it was, it was actually my first visit in New York when uh, I had been in the Central Park in the, um, New York. We were playing around with my friends and uh, we saw this animal and we went there, was like observing, were observing that, uh, this animal. And actually, um, this animal was kind of afraid of people and uh, it was like uh, running around, running uh, uh, from us. and. Uh, I think it is not the wild animal from our perspective and um, so my feeling about this animal is that uh, this animal um, is specific because of its I think I, as I told this uh, body and the heart and uh, it was not that friendly with people I think uh, it is because a lot of people start uh, staring at, the, at this animal and uh, it is not that uh, ordinary situation, so that's my feeling about this animal. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Can I have a paper and pen back, please? Sure. Uh, okay, everything is clear. Um, thank you. Now we move on to part three of your speaking test. We've been talking about an interesting animal you have seen. I'd like to discuss with you more general questions related to this. The first one is, why do people like to keep pets? Well, that will be a bit strange opinion, but I think that I think pets replace children in some terms because um, the their actions are kind of uh, similar to children when they when they are in younger ages, and um, I think it brings their in their lives the happiness and some joy. So I think that's the main reason. Mm -hmm. uh, what should we do to protect endangered animals? Um, I assume we have to speak out. So. There are not a, a lot of people, especially in Uzbekistan, who likes to speak out and try to solve the problem. And I think the the topic should be um, more spoken of and uh, discussed in publics, and uh, to come up with um, specific actions that will be uh, will be helpful for animals to be safe. Mm -hmm. Do you support doing experiments on animals? That's an interesting question. Um, well, it, it depends. For example, there are sort of certain animals that are um, already um, already uh, in the in the edge of death or extinction. If we consider that situation, that particular situation, I think we can do some experiments, but. Um, I think in general, I would shouldn't do that because they are like the living species. So well, we should do that. Mm -hmm. um, next question is: Why do some people refuse to eat animals? The prime reason is uh, religious purposes. So, and um, if we go to religion, for example, in uh, Muslims, they do not eat. Dogs, as it is considered as haram. So, 
I think that's the main reason why uh, they don't eat them. Mm-hmm. And I think the the second reason is about the there are certain people who care about animals and they cannot eat them. That's why they're considered as being vegetarian and they don't eat uh, animals, meat and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the final question of your IELTS um, speaking test is what would happen when some species disappear on Earth? Well, I, I think that if uh, there are certain species that will be extinct in some uh, future years, I think that if the history of the animals will not be discovered at all in, in full depth. Mm-hmm. And that will be the main problem because so without knowing what, how the animals are, are um, born or uh, grown off, we, don't, we will not know about the animal in detail. So I think there will be even less animals after that in, in the world. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. That is the end of the speaking test. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Thank you.